Right lads, welcome to Venice, but not a Venice that you're used to. This is Venice with uh, a much larger and uh, expanded, shall we say, mission tree. Uh, today we're going to be working our way through it uh, with a couple of different interesting stuff here. For example, uh, a decision to have a permanent navy, a domestic timber sources, all this sort of stuff that is dependent on a couple of really cool factors. Uh, so quite a well fleshed out nation. Also, if we start with enough galleys and, uh, and general ships as well as getting 100% of our force limit. Uh, militarily, in terms of the land, then we get a bunch of claims and good stuff. So my initial plan is I'm going to be vassalizing the Byzantines, uh, trying to negotiate a trade de uh, treaty with the Mamluks. Just seeing where we go from there. Right, we are going to rival the Byzantines, as well as the Ottomans, and also the Hungarians. Okay, I like the Austrians as well. In order to get things rolling, I'm going to take out a loan. And I am going to build a bunch of galleys, because we're going to need them. How many do we need for this? 12. <laughs> Did I almost just build a bunch of cogs? Okay, good. Glad, glad we started off well. 12 galleys, there's another mission around here. I have at least 10, and that'll give us yearly naval tradition. Brilliant. Start building the spy network, and let's ship over the boys to the Byzantines. He's allied Theodora. Good, because sometimes he allies Albania, and I don't have to deal with Skanderbeg. We grab ourselves the free company because we're kind of low on manpower but high on income. Right, we are going to establish the Sculio del Gialbenesi, <laughs> which gives us 200 splendor. That's nice. Right, we have a Republican army which gives us 10% morale of armies as well as a decent general and also a ton of claims. I'll go ahead and revoke my guarantee over here because I don't really want to fight the Ottomans until it's on my own terms. Let's see how good this general is. Uh, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Leave that should be enough. It is indeed excellent. Also, if we improve Venezia once, that unlocks another mission, gives us galley cost and naval attrition until the end of the game. So, we start off with three decent missions and a bunch of territory uh, that we have claims on. So, we are going to be declaring war on Byzantines. Obviously, we're going to be trying to vassalize them. I'm actually going to land on Constantinople directly as well. Just hoping the 2-5 can sustain the minus 2 crossing penalty. Excellent. And the Ottomans have gone after the Albanians. Just as I'd hoped. Okay, given that we have this many claims, and we've prevented the Hungarians from allying the Austrians. Let's expand into that direction. Let's, uh, let's explore this mission tree real quick. So... The Mamluks have to like us by a bit more. And we need 25% trade power in Iskandaria. How much do we have? 7%. Damn, that's a lot of percent. Okay, we need to start building up a, a merchant navy. A rival port. It looks like it wants us to take out Genoa, which I'm happy to do. So look, who else could I potentially ally? Oh, you're friendly to me. Brilliant. Let's get this war done, let's get you allied then. Just gonna casually ignore that the mission after this is to control the Delta. I don't know what it is, but it also looks really aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> the way that the missions are laid out where they like leave and rejoin and, and it's really it's really pretty. <laughs> the Albanians have taken the Ottoman capital. Legends. They're actually the Albanians are winning. Okay, well let's just stay still. Grab you lot. Let's go land on Theodoro. And hopefully that knocks him out of the war. Alright, is that enough? It is. So, we take Athens, we give that stuff over. Excellent. Now, you are disloyal. But what if... Athens. We're going to dissolve the monasteries and ally the Mamluks. Now, when's our truce up with the Ottomans? Two years. Right, we're going to try and get some favours with the Austrians, because this could make this war so much easier. The Austrians with a three-star general, as if life wasn't hard enough. A three-star general. A four-five. Jesus Christ. Going to rival the Pope. We need another 10%. Well, we don't need this many cogs, to be honest. We get rid of a couple of them. How many ships do they... I've never actually brought my uh, galleys over here. Because ideally the Ottomans get into a war over here, right? And then I can just blockade the strait after jumping into Yelibolu. So look, the Ottomans have a heavy and nine galleys. They, well, to be honest, 
couple of strategic battles and we should ah uh, with the venetian with the uh byzantine navy we might be able to pull it off because if i can get them trapped on corfu game over yeah i just love to do that if they go for corfu or they go for naxos i also need to stop guaranteeing the knights and we've been excommunicated wonderful get that miltec four the Ottomans are on miltec three trade power of 17 percent I'm just really curious to see what this does. Oh, one of the following must be true. Okay, sweet. So I don't actually need to do this. So I just wasted a bunch of money. Cool. Statesman advisor, diplomat advisor, skill at least one. Okay, so statesman and diplomat. There we go. Negotiate with the Mamluks. So we either instruct them to pursue an alliance. We already have an alliance. Or we get a claim and 100 military power. We already have the alliance. <laughs> Grab another merchant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take another merchant. Thank you. Ooh. Rebels and Zara. Casanova. Desperate to find a way to break the deadlock. Realizes an overextension on Barbarigo's left. Assembling his household guard, he wheels around, crashing into the Republican's flank, unknowingly playing right into Barbarigo's hands. Emerging from the forest were the until now hidden reserves of Barbarigo's line. They slammed into Casanova's cavalry. It was a slaughter. The cavalry was wiped out in mere minutes. Casanova himself among the dead, and with him, the last hope of a monarch of Venice. Kind of want to keep these forts, they're all quite useful. I know, shock, right? <laughs> nice, just discovered a bunch of land. Okay, where's the Ottoman heavy? One galley there, leave behind the cogs. Send you guys over there. Close to being able to call in the Austrians. There's the heavy. Do we prioritize clearing the heavy? I think we prioritize clearing the heavy out versus the light ships. There we go. Will you come in? Do we even need the Mamluks? I could bring them in, just screw them over. And then go after the Delta after that, because once we've taken out the Ottomans, they're really unnecessary. Right, let's do it. And we're going to call in the Mamluks and screw them over. Take Gelibolu. Let's go. Barrage that. Let's go take out these other galleys. That is not my galley fleet that I've sent in to fight, is it? No, it's not. I, I sent... I sent my civilian fleet in to fight for me. They did a good job. Alright, let's get our galley fleet going. I think, all the, I think all the ships are dead. And that decent leader died, so... It's unfortunate. Looks like the Ottomans have gone for the Mamluks, which is ideal. And we won the Siege of Gelabolu, so we're now safe. So... The Mamluks are gonna die. <laughs> and that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Why are you excommunicating me as I'm fighting the Scourge of Christianity? Yeah, real, real makes a lot of sense, that. Good job. Well done, boys. All right, one the Siege of Adane. Let's get our boys in there. I'm not gonna blow the fort up, just on the understanding that I need Miltech 5 if we're to stand a chance here. Please tell me you got Miltech 4 at least. Okay, this might have been a mistake. Both my allies have Miltech 3. And I'm fighting against the Ottomans. He is, however, already on low, so... There's only been one battle. Which we lost. Well, I didn't lose it. But the boys did. Oh, the Mamluks have sent their troops over here! Yeah, go chill in Zeta, great. Don't defend your nation at all. There's that siege. To be fair, we can probably out-siege the Ottomans. The terrifying thing is, I can only see 10,000 of his troops, and I don't know where the rest of them are. I mean, the Mamluks could probably take that, and they're just not. Oh, they are! Did you get the next Miltech? You did! That's where you're going in. Nice, good job! Oh, there are the Ottomans. I don't know why I decided not to kill me there. Please win that, what do you present? Yeah, that's good. That's good- No! Okay, you almost got stacked. Right, let's go across the straight. And we'll pick up Miltech 5. Yeah, oh, that would have been incredible if we'd won that. Alright, Siege of Ankara. 
we might be able to bounce. <laughs> I would quite like that. So, returning cores. All this stuff to the Byzantines. Don't I have a core? Yeah. I want a Skodra. I'll take these two. This one to form... This one to release Bulgaria. And then this one to take the gold mine. What's my war participation? 49%, so no point taking money. Your war reps. In all honesty, I think that's really everything we want to do. So much point staying in this war beyond to cripple the Ottomans. And I think I'd rather just not be crippled myself. Because the Ottomans still have 32,000 troops. 2,000 manpower, so yeah, there's not really much. I mean, they're on low anyway. Got well, ticking war score, right? Yeah. So I can just sort of gather my troops up and go and fight him. Let's have a mill take ahead of him, right? Yeah. Let's do it. The Ottomans have gone off to my lands over up there. Do you reckon I could kick out at Knulu by just standing on this capital and then occupying a couple of places? He's got some noble rebels. The Byzantines have a claim on this province? They do. Do I want to take it though? I could just. Yeah, AQ on peace and out. Or medium. They'd separate peace, but I kind of want them to do that. Well, let's see. If we can knock them down to low, we'll do it. 15, yeah, they won't go down to low anytime soon. Maybe if I do this. Again, just do not want to lose that siege. 25%. Ah, oh, no, minus five away. Yeah, we're not doing it. Yeah, the Mamluks are not going to like this one. Oh, I could Bulgaria them. Well, maybe not because there's capitals in this area, and I've found that the Ottomans will always stay near their capital. All right, there we go. Nice little victory there. Uh, so why do I take these provinces? Well, I think I'm going to release them piecemeal, but I want to release you. And you just sort of operate over there. Okay, goodbye, Diplo Power. <laughs> I knew you well. But I'm going to make another vassal. Bulgaria. So I'm two over. Um, are you vassal Naxos? Let's start getting rid of Naxos. Yeah, I'm assuming you're going to break your alliance with me. That's fine. Because then I can turn around and ally Karakinulu. There goes the Mamelukian alliance. Let's not forget we have a claim on this delta. And now we've got a gold mine. It's a pretty good start. How much are we spending on our naval maintenance? Like two. We're spending a ducat because we're over. Not too bad, to be honest. And I kind of like the sheer quantity that we possess of galleys. All of these are going to be a loss. Which one's the least amount of loss? Alexandria. Let's go send you over there. Four vassal. Nice. Uh, let's get... Right, we've got actually enough favours with you, which is good. Weirdly enough, I'm going to improve relations with uh, the Mamluks a little bit. Why am I doing that, you might ask? They're hostile to you. Well, I've still got some leftover favours. Um, and I'd quite like some ducats. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Ah, interesting. It looks like the Ottomans didn't put guys here. I probably should have done the Bulgaria strap. Oh, well. Right, how much do I make? Trade, 815. It's a lot less. Ragusa seems to be our bottleneck here. We need more trade power here. I like this diplomatic relations plus one. It's kind of what we're sort of pursuing now, isn't it? Versus consolidate power in the Doge, which is governing capacity. Although direct control sounds kind of fun. Direct control Venice sounds pretty cool. Meanwhile, the Ottomans being destroyed by their uh, noble rebels. It's almost fun to see. Which is, in fact, my fantasy. So, <laughs> Can I annex you yet? can. Literally just now. Alright, let's not forget Bulgaria has a bunch of claims and so does Aretna. It's going to still part of the Holy Roman Empire. We need that to go. What's this? Lottery! 5 one, 3 we'll take it. Who's upset? Aretna's upset. And so is Bulgaria. Because we got excommunicated. Wonderful. I mean, don't know why we wouldn't do that. And make a bit more money. I've actually managed to pay off our loans, which is nice. Oh, it's because I was allied to him. It was I only needed 25% trade power, and then I could have gotten this. 
but because I'm now fighting him, it's not the case. Negroponte needs a castle, and then get permanent claims. But I need to do it anyway. I don't like that. Oh, Athens is owned by me. I suppose I can wait for Athens. Consolidate our colonies. That would give us a bunch of really, really cool stuff. Which I could do now, technically. I need the delta first. Adriatic coastline. Let's start working on that one. So. Two. I need one of this coastline. Or all provinces in the Apulia area. So I need Ferrara, basically. And then what happened, sorry? Create a level one central trade in Salento. Well, let's take... We need to take Salento, then. Actually, what would be smart is attacking you, right? Yeah. I mean, I like to... I don't want to have to fight a boat. I guess I have to. But I might need to call in the Austrians on that one, just because it's a little bit painful to fight. Okay, that would bring in the Ottomans, but the Ottomans... Well, I could... <laughs> Ten years of peace. I reckon I could just blitz the Ottomans. Assuming that they don't have any troops in this area, which they might. They've got 4k there, but they might not have troops here. Yeah, because we assume that he's not there. And we reset the truce time, or at least get cash out of him. Fight the Papal State one-on-one, -on -one, break their alliance with Epirus and Naples, then fight Epirus to get the Byzantine core and fight and take Saliento. Okay. Alright. It's convoluted, and we have very little manpower. But it might just work. Go ahead and grab the free company. So we knock the Ottomans out of the war first with this guy and this general. And go from there, okay. Alright, before the Ottomans can gather their strength too much. Let's go after Ragusa. Nope, that's still the Ottomans. Let's go after Ragusa. And let's get it going. Moment of truth, are there any Ottoman troops here? No, there are not. Excellent. Okay. And they are Tech 5, Ragusa is Tech 5, everyone else is Tech 5. Okay, the Pope is going to be a bit of an issue. I don't like that two-star general. We're going to hold on just in case we can win. Nope. Bad mistake. Go stand on Kosovo. Make sure that he doesn't take the gold mine. How are we doing over there? Right, let's check defensiveness over here. Just to give us a little bit more extra time. Alright, if we can go ahead and win the Siege of Adurne real quick, that would be stunning. Make my day, make me very happy. My vassals are actually tagging on to me, which is nice. Which gives us a bit of an army to play with. Did you just deposit troops onto my shores? You, you'd landed on Venice. Okay. Death. I has the audacity to land on Venice. Okay. How are we getting destroyed? Assuming the Ottomans will want a piece out now. 38%. Uh, still cuts the truce timer and we take 700 ducats off. Sounds good to me. And we get the... <laughs> we take tech first and then we get the Renaissance. Wonderful. We should take trade ideas first, technically. But I think influence ideas with just the sheer amount of vassals we have, probably a better idea. Especially for this one. But then again, we're going to be spending so much on vassals, probably not worth it. Ah, why not? But we're a great power. Wonderful. Let's go take out the Pope. So what do we want to do here with the Pope? We want to annul his alliance with Naples and with Epirus. And then we fight Epirus, take his stuff and get Naples to annul their alliance with Genoa. And then eventually we can fight Genoa. I say, okay, ally in Lithuania. Natural allies to Genoese and Lithuanians. Like that they are. They're blood brothers, some might say. So crazy how many people are unaware or ignorant of the uh, the connection between those two states. Lot Rome. And we baited out his ships like I wanted to. Siege of Rome is done. That was just fortunate timing. All right, anyone else want to get your rid of Florence is not that bad. I'm scared he allies France, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to take money from the doge, to be honest. It is. Okay, brilliant. There we go. Alright, let us beset upon you. Recore. Recore. Conquer this core. And we're gonna take the knights in this war as well. Poland announced me as their new rival. Brilliant. Oh, nice. The Pope just gave me military access. Brilliant. Now, I can't land directly on you. If I land here, I can move into Napoli. We are going to go ahead and annex Ragusa. Right, if we get here, we just about got here in time. Okay, I want to take over the siege of Napoli. There we go. 28%. Complicate it. There we go. And that's how you win siege is super fast.
Now, the reason I wanted to declare this war as well is because this would give one trade. This would give it's level one central trade in Salento. It also means I need to have a claim on Serbia. Just in case that war gets messy, I need to put them both out of their misery. Genoese alliance, the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. I kind of want to take Salento from now. Salento, not Salento. Salento! <laughs> Home claim on Dalmatia area. Every owned province in the Ragusa trade node will gain plus 15%. Plus 15%. Okay, I probably should wait until I get more uh, of the trade node. But I like clicking buttons. Oh, right, the knights. I was wondering why I wasn't automatically winning over here. How many troops did it require? 11,000. Believe me, you don't want military access here. Might be an idea to actually blockade the province late. Good job. And, of course, we are going to get... We don't really need galley combat ability. The ship trade power. I want to go more merchant navy because I never do a merchant navy. I never actually, you know, do the merchanting side of the merchant navy. I always just have a good navy. This will be more fun. So let's uh, strip some trade power in Alexandria. There's roads. Right. Super peace with the knights. We're going to annex them directly. Note the lack of uh, any sort of coalition ever. <laughs> Doing this really well. And now we just sit tight waiting for the uh, truce of the Ottomans to... Um, and let's also up our centers of trade. There we go. Do the same over here. Oh. And in Ragusa. That should make us a bit more money. Or a lot more money. What we got here? Provincial governments. Governing capacity. Maybe we could do even more governing capacity. Well, I'll switch over if I need to later on. But I think for now, the global trade power will do me very, very nicely indeed. Okay, well. So he's dead. Yeah, I don't want to lose one Republican tradition every year. It's horrible. Like, I'm still, I'm going for direct control, don't get me wrong, but it's direct control within our republic. That's the kind of, uh, the character of Venice that I'm building here today. Thank you, Aretna. Much obliged. All right, when can I declare war on you? August 69. Uh, I need to upgrade Ragusa as well. Got 3% increase, which increases over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, of course, yeah, I like Aragon. To be fair, I think I could stop Aragon from bringing most of their troops over. Great, I know. Great right now to have that. But no, the Pope hates me. To be fair, I could probably repeal the restraint of appeals. Which would give us access to that. So I'm gonna fight him anyway, so not really much point. There's the truce of the Ottomans. Don't know why I wasn't set up for this. Now, what I am gonna do is put scootage on this guy. Ah nah, actually he can he can suffer along with the rest of us. Screw it. it it's a smart choice to put him on scootage, because I can still give him territory. But, yeah, let them suffer. All right, let's spread out and take out the Ottomans. <laughs> but it never gets old. There's no many, it doesn't matter how many times you do it in this game. Just rinsing the Ottomans will always be fun. He is over here, sieging down this place. I kind of want him to finish up those wars. I don't want to make any sort of um, Anatolian minor strong at all, because usually they have a tendency to ally. Yeah, there you go. To ally the Mamluks. I don't want the Mamluks to be strong, because they're like, they're not... Mamluks aren't hard hitters, but they're just not fun to fight. Because they do have some money behind them and some manpower and that sort of stuff. And it's not like help's coming. If I try and declare war on them, the, Aust the uh, Austrians won't say yes, because it's distant war. It's a smart move to siege down Biga, so I can't do it. Thank you, you bastard. <laughs> is that the Austrians want to come in? Dude, Austria is so eager. Got rid of his forts, that's nice. Oh no. Oh no. Rebels rising up in roads. No. Oh, did not see the Ottoman army there. I mean, we won the first one. I just don't have the manpower to sustain those kinds of losses. All right, taking these boys out, put them in roads, because we need to deal with that before anything else. I've been sieging this fort since the start of the war. I would really very much enjoy for it to be over by now. All right, you can get them to attach to me. Oh, something about the 10. Uh, I, can, I can lose that. All right, boys, we march to the, uh, we don't, we don't need to march there right now. Do you know? It's stupid to march there now. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, bloody wonderful, that. Oh. Let's get out. 
Why have I only retreated one province? That, was, that wasn't even the AI. I can't blame it on that. That's just purely me. Okay, I've occupied pretty much everything this man's ever loved. What's, what's affecting our war score right now? Why is it so low? Also, I'm pretty sure that he saw what I did to him last time. And Akinulu was like, nah, nah, not again. I'm building a second fort. Dude, just peace out. Wait, how, do you, it's not, how do you have such low war score? Why has everyone got low war score here? All right, I'm taking the 623. I don't need you to come in Austria. What I need is Diplo power. Nice, that's very useful indeed. Okay, why, what, what? Okay, so you're going up there because you're fighting the Crimeans. Which is actually really annoying. Yo. I need you, Aretna, to do me a massive solid here. I need you to get me a claim on Janda. How are the Ottomans not piecing out? They've got 10% war score. And they're on low. Oh. When did Armenia get free? <laughs> when did that happen? Did someone form it? What? what? What is this? I genuinely want to see now. What, what happened over here? Georgia. Okay, just rebels. I think it looks like just rebels. Can't take half the stuff I want because it's occupied with bloody Janda. I, I was meant to build a bloody... Well, I suppose I'm waiting for Athens, aren't I, for that one. Cyprus is a member of our trade league. Do you want to be part of our trade league? Yeah, you do. Okay, sweet. At this point, we just need to conquer Cyprus. Okay. Adriatic, we need to take out Ferrara. I keep forgetting to do that. I've already got a claim. Okay, well, my bad. Okay, this stuff is attack the mainland down here. Then if we do all of that, we get stability and united crowns. God, this, this is so in-depth. If I build a dock here, and prove it 10 times, I get some more cool stuff the rest of the game. For 100 years, I get development cost and trade efficiency. If I have a fleet or equal large to 80, okay, well, we just need to sort of grow naturally for a little while before that. The Ottomans just went bankrupt. Peace out. Oh, finally. All right. Does that mean we can actually get, you know, get this piece done? Bulgaria, Retina, Retina. I think that's everything that we can take. I think it is time to give this over to the Byzantines. Uh, you don't really have any money worth taking, to be honest. All right, we can take deck seven, skill three, half cost. Sounds good. There we go. That's our Kinulu done. Does that mean we get the Ottomans out finally? Yes, it does. Okay. There we go, the Ottomans are dead, <laughs> pretty much. And we have a continuous line. Well, we just need these two provinces. Oh, now it's no longer a valid rival. All right, let's rival you. And does France want to ally us? Can't see, actually really, really does. Interesting. Another admin tech. We, I mean, we're doing great on admin. Okay, we've got Albanian separatists. We also have no manpower. We've had no manpower for a while. <gasps> the gold mine. No, don't get greedy. I could very easily right now release Serbia. Uh, and that would destroy... Well, that would give me this territory for free. But I already have too many... Uh, too many vassals. Naples declared war on the Ottomans. What exactly are you trying to conquer? Albania. Alright, man. <laughs> you sure you won that land? It's, uh, it's Albania. Mm, right. So, ethnic group. Check that one off the list. Alright, and we get ship trade power plus 50%. Because of our specific age bonus. Oh, the money. It's flowing in, boys. Oh, man. Karkinu is dead. We're going to have to act against the Mamluks pretty soon. We just never have any sort of manpower. So six provinces have to have a dock. Okay. Do that. I need Diptech 6. <laughs> I am very much behind on Diptech. They also have Peasants War and they're bankrupt. This is great. I'm really enjoying this. How much money are we making? Enough to warrant bumping you up. Ooh. You just wouldn't come in because malevolent and attitude towards enemies. I need to do that, don't I? How many favors do I have with you? 42. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to call you in to get you to do the fighting for me. Did I kill the, the Serbian rebel? I might have done. Right, so who is a risky ally here? Well, no one really that I'd be threatened by. I'm legitimately just letting Austria do the work here. Right, let's actually keep making sure we've had an admiral at all times. It's quite useful. Oh, look at that. Right, let's keep upgrading these center of trades. Oh, of course, it's, a, it's a war. Oh, we're in a naval battle. I think we're winning. Yeah, we won. That's why you don't build heavies in the med. I kind of want to take this territory. And the assumption that we'll need it to push trade through. But I don't want to because we'll probably get it from something else. 
That would lead to a coalition. The thing is, do I care? A very important question. Um, let's not take Corsica. Okay, well, we, we took Manchua, so let's piece out Manchua separately. And let's get rid of his alliance with Savoy. And he can give me his trade power and stuff. Otherwise, let's not take Corsica. I need that. I don't need that. Right, now, what else was I doing? Technically, I could fight the Pope. No, it'll be easier. Because you're allied to France, which is going to suck the fight. You're allied to Aragon, which is also going to suck. Bologna, allied to, well, a couple of people. Florence, I don't have a claim on. Let's get you in a trade league, at least. Which will give us the sovereignty of Cyprus. So, yeah, keep everything in that just happened apart from. All right, so now that war's done, let's uh, go ahead and do the trade league with Cyprus thing. So what does this do? Trading the East gives us 50 diplomatic power and Cyprus becomes our vassal. This is getting out of hand. This is, this is getting real out of hand. Okay, well, let's get rid of the military axis with the Papal State, please. How long have I had that for? We have so many vassals. <laughs> I mean, they pay us like 4.5 ducats a month, but still. Oh, of course, and create trading posts. Why, do, why have I not been doing that? Let's, uh, let's do that everywhere. Trade post right here, and let's put one in Constantinople. Oh, we've called Genoa, which gives us a rival port. And makes Genoa's center of trade go by one. Let's do that. Now that should have given us claims over here. It has. Okay, excellent. Suddenly. So instead of Vienna, let's see how much money we make. So we make currently 15.42, right? Roughly. So I would collect from trade and put it in Vienna instead. Take it from Vienna and put it in here instead. That's a Gavinia declared war on the Ottomans. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's a rough time for the other dogs. I'm gonna go for a parliamentary system and start a debate. Diplomatic annexation costs minus 15%. That should instantly mean that we annex the Byzantines. There it is. Byzantium has been annexed, which means we finally get to complete a bunch of missions. In the name of profits, we conquer Constantinople. We get the Protege Venocratia and consolidation of our colonies. We can bolster our grain production. So for the next 10 years, we get supervising grain production. That sounds cool. Let's do that. To the end of the game, we get local production efficiency plus 20% in Ceres. Nice. We'll take that. The salt monopoly. The price of salt increases by 10% for the next, like, loads of years. And then until the end of the game, Venezia gets trade value plus 2. Excellent. We're going to conquer the delta. Sort this one out. Spanish shores. We've got a bunch of claims on... Portugal, Castile, and Aragon. It's going to be a hard nut to crack. We're finally not over our vassal uh, limit, which is nice. Well, you know. Finally not over our diplomatic relations limit, which is nice. Uh, for the next 10 years, we do have annex subjects, though, which sucks. That's fine. Nice price of gems in Constantinople. Right, what I'm thinking here is we shift from Genoa. How much are we making now? We're making 16.49. We shift over that guy from Genoa to Constantinople, and that should make us a decent chunk of change. Especially if we go ahead and build up Athens and this place and this place should cross quite nicely. It's actually like ducking and a half, especially when we get control of this trade node down there entirely, and also obviously this one. We are the most valuable trade node in the world right now, so that's nice. I should have a sizable army as well now. I'll take five to my Miltech seven. It does have friends, but they're all like one dimensional. Make sure our fleet's down here. All right, let's snatch that delta. Really don't want to fight Akinido. Let's do it. All right, where's my cannons? Because those are going to be quite useful. We have a surplus of military power. Okay, I think we have... Okay, the Ottomans give you military access. A little bit annoying. Not horrendous. Uh, let's go ahead and detach the cogs. We're going to blockade that straight. Protect our heartlands a little bit. Feels like they're coming towards us. All right, as much as I'd love to go trade next, uh, another idea group would be ideal. It's got to be quantity. We have the money. We need to actually be able to produce an army. Gain stability, good government policies. Always nice to see. And we get a 444 in charge. Let's do that. Right. Siege of Adana is done. Uh, there's a... Oh, no. <laughs> Earthquake and roads. That doesn't help things. Get some ste siege ability. Not siege ability. Some separatists in Lesbo. Oh. All right, Caraman, I have enough to... Do that to you and give me some money for my time. War reps, thank you very much. Not reinforcing that, right? Okay, good. Corfu and separatists. Okay, Corfu now is a 
core in that province. Wonderful. Okay, they want to fight that. Hopefully you're a decent general. You are. I see our stats stack up. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit better. Not going to revoke the restraint of appeals just yet. Okay, we won on the 23rd of April, which means now he's attacking me. That's ideal. Game. All right, cool. <laughs> the game uh, was not happy there for a second. Go ahead and breach the walls over here. Won that on 7%. Nice. Let's keep pushing. Won the mask really quickly as well. And that will actually give us enough professionalism to slacken again. So that's an incredible event. And another great event that gives me a cheaper guy. Huh, okay. Like our troops aren't wildly better than theirs, despite being, what, two? Well, only one tick ahead. But it's enough. All right. I kind of want to reorganize my army a little bit here. Two siege, excellent. That's my siege stack. Breach the walls immediately. Ooh, that's a bigger naval battle than I was expecting. So you can keep forcing those. And perfect. Come on, no, take the bait, take the bait, take Adana. Lose stability, wonderful. I don't know what the uh, I'm, I'm looking at AI is doing. It sometimes wants the siege Adana, and then like it'll change its mind. Oh, you're a thing. Hey, how you, how you doing? Let's give you release you. Let's give you beat the Ottomans. Nice. Starting to catch up on our Diplo tech now. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm going to attack the uh, the Mamluks in the mountains with an under-supplied force. Alright, 42%. Ah, Siege of is done. Let's see if we can go and beat these guys a little bit. This could go either way, to be honest. <laughs> we have similar numbers. Um, what's the combat width? 24. There you go. That's why you stack things properly. So what am I doing here, Jane? This Delta. Skandaria as well. Skandaria, this place... Hell of a grind, this. So we are going to attack in the mountains. I know it seems a bit strange, but that's why. We get ourselves some manpower recovery speed. Gives us another diplomat, which really does not help us that much. I suppose... Outrage countries and... Uh, Unsubject countries. Might have taken Hissing Kava, or more accurately, my vassals have. Naval barrage going off there. Actually losing money at quite a significant rate here. There's Siege of Iskandaria. I think that's his navy done. Oh, no, that's a navy. We actually have so many ships. How much do we spend on navy right now? Only three. We, we've got, like, got a significant navy. And dummy has been taken, which is the war goal, which means that we might actually get out of here now. Yep, he's done. Okay, so he's going to give us these areas. wonder why we have a claim on Gaza. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take it. Bang. And thus, we've split the Mamluks in twain. Oh, okay, right. I was trying to figure out why there was a, pl a person called Alessandria that we had to <laughs> we had to occupy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a place, not a person. Like. Okay, so for that, we need to have a trading post. All right, let's score it. What I also need to do, very really good into Skio. Let's go to Skio then. Deal with these rebels. Whilst now it's his rival, understandably so. Byzantine separatists have risen up. From where? From where? Is that... Who are, who are you from? Me. That's rather strange. Completely forgot to take you off of defensiveness. I'll put you on trade. Yeah, that helps. Uh, now, let's take this massive navy we got. Split off the light ships. Let's protect some trade in... Skandaria. Alright, you know, let's just get you marching into that to stop taking it. Or oh, they could take it either way. That's very irritating. 28% chance they'd win that. And the Ottomans are a mess. Always good to see. I'll get rid of the free company now. They sort of outlive their usefulness. It's only 4,000. Not that significant, really. Ottoman peasants have occupied a Neapolitan province. I'm sure they're thrilled about that. Oh, they broke and gone bankrupt again. Probably not having a good time. Let's see what the... Uh... Yeah, your autonomy's almost 100%. <laughs> oh, there's a fort over here. Apparently not. So I need all provinces in the Apulia area, I think. I'm reading that correctly. Lose to corruption, also known as gain 271 ducats. That's not true to the Ottomans, but my heart's not really in murdering him. I'm not donating to the Pope. <laughs> I'm not doing it. See, look, our guys like us because of fair dealing. Right, I have a choice. Either I can... Oh, I don't have a core here. I thought I had a core. Oh, shame. Because I have a... I don't have a core on Naxos either, to be fair. Do I not? Nah. Naxos just does not like me. I think I could annex Cypress and Naxos at the same time, but not really much point. I'll well go for the big boy of uh, Bulgaria. Let's grab ourselves aggressive expansion. Might be time for a golden era. I'm tempted. Let's call these areas. Uh, let's also grab a trading post here. That gives us the delta, which 
gives us permanent clays of Red Sea Hills. Lots of good stuff. And progresses us further down the tree. We can almost 20 ducats now in trade. Technically, I could do that, but I don't want to. The lands are kind of rich. Well, this one isn't. I'll add him in. Actually, I don't think I can without... Oh, well, I messed that up. Oh, well, <laughs> doesn't matter. I'll fix it later. But this area is not valuable, is it? Eh, it's okay. All right, lads, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. I mean, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's been a decent knock. We've managed to climb our way down the mission tree. The only thing we didn't do of this first section is take out Aragon, which I can kind of see myself doing pretty easily. We can keep the Moroccans pinned down with our navy. We can fight the Aragonese. Yep, we can do that pretty pretty simply. So I think my next step would actually be to fight Aragon. Uh, the French doing this, kind of a bit of an issue. Um, that's fine. But more, again, we're just sort of sitting down here, progressing down this trade stuff, which is always fun. Like I said, for me, trade is like making numbers go up, which is kind of fun. That's kind of the point of EU4, I suppose. But when you have a mission tree that's surrounding it as well, it makes it a lot more entertaining. So lads, I do hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Most of you watching this aren't actually subscribed, so if you could go ahead and, uh, and do that, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably, Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadowsinger. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.